just a girl and her camera, I guess. So yes, I just woke up, just kidding. I literally woke up three hours ago um, and I wanted to try to film my first ever vlog today and I realized <laughs> I just had no idea how to even like use my camera. So I had to spend like the entire morning looking up like how to use the settings. The sound quality was so ass, so I kind of figured that out. So I wanted to have a really early morning, have a follow me around vlog style video today, kind of fuck around with some of the camera settings, quality, things like that. Um, and this is my first ever trial vlog. So here I am completely not ready for the day, but we're going to follow me around today. I'm going to hit back today. I may be trying to get an impulsive tattoo if they will take me. I'm going to get my hair done later. I have a hormone certification class that I'm doing. Um, and then what else am I doing today? I have to program for my clients. And yeah, this is, I do need to pick up some face wash, but that's pretty much what my day is going to consist of today. Um, get ready for work tomorrow. I have a high, I have to work hygiene in the dental office first kind of get ready for the gym let's go hit it i wanted to go early to the gym to get it out of the way but you know uh three hours later and i was looking up how the fuck to use this camera so i got my iced coffee in hand here using cardio or coffee over cardio literally like the best flavors ever i have like so many um, so yeah, let's fucking do this. I'm excited. I guess I'm just a girl in her camera now. I don't know, but all I can say is this is one of the happiest that I have felt in a very long time. Not gonna lie, the breakup had me down bad for months. <laughs> for months. It's going on three months now, so... I kind of want to make this YouTube not only just about like fitness and day in the life stuff, but also like self-help, healing, and how to get over breakups, how to find yourself again, self-love, all of that stuff for the girlies, um, guys too, but mostly just because my ideal, I guess, reach is going to be younger girls who are struggling on their own and kind of being like that bigger sister that I never had kind of thing um so yeah so basically follow me around we'll kind of do what I normally do get to know me a little bit more on a personal level because I think through Instagram and TikTok I don't really show up a lot as my personal self a lot it's just like a lot of static images or trending sounds things like that um so hopefully this gives you a better glimpse into who I am and hopefully we can be friends now um, I literally loved YouTube so much and like I loved being in front of and behind a camera. So this is my big break to finally kind of put it into action. I couldn't think of a better time to actually like dive into it. And I'm just hoping for the best and at the very least I'm just hoping to have a hobby that makes me feel fulfilled and have a ton of fun. So that is what we're going to be doing. So it's basically going to be like me doing vlogs. That's kind of like what I want my channel to mostly be as of right now. I do plan on it kind of developing over time, but I just don't know what to expect. So me doing vlogs and mixing in some of my insights of things that I've learned, whatever kind of day it is, it kind of makes sense for how I'm feeling. Um, and I feel like every day I kind of come up with a new insight on the breakup and my past and how things have shaped me and hopefully it helps you guys too. So if you're interested in that, it's going to be all things like get ready, fitness, self-help, self-love, um, just overall personal development, trying to better yourself and following me along on my journey. So hopefully I can help you or someone else along the way. Okay, so I'm going to get ready for the gym really quick. Normally I do like a very quick mascara and eyebrows to get ready, but I refuse to do my makeup more than once in a day because um, I do want to have like my full like makeup routine done um, for filming the rest of the video and then while I get my hair um, and go run a couple of errands and things like that, so. You have to have a dance party. It's like part of a ritual for feeling good. <laughs> So this is the fit 
that we decided to go with. This is the Honor Active Timeless Shorts with the strappy bralette and then the effortless coal crop. Um, a hat because it's that kind of vibe. And yeah, now we're gonna go take some pump and pray. Um, I haven't been taking pray, I've just been drinking coffee. Um, and so we'll, we'll take some pump and I'll show you my pre-workout concoction. All right, so we are taking Beams Pure Pump. I'm literally obsessed with this product. It is my go-to staple now. I usually would take pump purely on leg day just for that juicier glute pump, but I'm a, I am love it. It's so good. I want to take it before every workout, so. And I'm also trying to not take so much caffeine, so we'll do the pump today. Um, this is my little pre-workout concoction. I do creatine in my pre-workout so I don't forget. And then I add some salt too for some extra pump and electrolytes. So we're going to chug that, drink that, and then we're going to go hit back. Okay, so starting off with pull-ups. So I take a little bit of a wider grip and I think about driving my elbows down instead of pulling myself up. This helps me really engage my lats and get proper form there. Um, I usually do about like three sets for as many reps as possible. Typically for me, that'll be about 12 for the first set, somewhere between like 8 and 10 for the second, and usually about like 6 to 10 for the last. Okay, so then I'm going to do some barbell rows here. Honestly, not going to lie, I was kind of really tired by the time I got to this workout. Um, so I think here I did either three or four sets of barbell row at around like 10 to 12 reps each. So that's kind of where I was staying. I didn't go too heavy. I was really just trying to focus on the form um, and trying to really feel it in my back as best as I could. And for rows, I like to try to think about bringing my elbow towards my hip instead of bringing it up and down for better form. Okay, and then I literally love this machine with a burning passion. So I did some of these high rows afterwards. I alternate arms. Sometimes I hold one the non-working arm around the thing that's touching my stomach sometimes I do it this way it just kind of depends um, and I tried to aim I believe somewhere between like six to ten reps here um, and I did it for three sets I pretty much do everything for three sets for the most And then I just finished off with bicep curls. I think I honestly only did like two sets for 10 reps each arm. I honestly just train arms for shits and giggles at this point because they just grow too fast. Okay, so we're back from the gym. I'm doing a Dave's meal prep here. So we have some tilapia, rice, and zucchini, and a lime seltzer. Can't fully tell if seltzers make me bloated or not, but I feel like they're really good if you're in a deficit because they kind of make you feel fuller. Um, and also, I just love having some, like, kind of flavor. It kind of makes me feel like I'm drinking a soda, but I'm not. Um, and really all I drink is water and coffee, so it gives me some variation and I like it. Um, and then, let's see. I'm honestly, like, brain dead right now. I'm so hungry. So let me eat this. If you're in the tri-state, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut... Jill G 10, or no, just Jill G, 10% off of Dave's meal preps. I've honestly been, sorry, I talk with my mouth full. I've honestly, <laughs> why am I so gross? I've honestly been eating like shit lately, so I need to get it the fuck back together. Um, So tilapia and rice it is. I'm going to eat this, shower, then we'll get ready with me. Um, to go get a tattoo, if they'll take me, um, then I'll come back, do some client work, have my hormone cohort, and then go get my hair done. Okay, I can't even lie, I know I've been a rush of energy today, but I just got like a mid-afternoon crash, um, I didn't sleep that good last night, and I think that, I don't know, but I kind of don't even feel like doing my makeup right now, but... 
I think I'm still going to, so that way I can kind of get the full effect of like my hair and everything and just feel good. It would take a, like an hour to do my makeup if I really let myself, but we are going to try to be better than that today and just try to do like a quicker makeup look kind of thing. Okay, so I want to get 333 tattooed on my wrist. I have a little heart tattoo here. Um, it looks lopsided on camera, but... And I want it like across my wrist on the other side of that. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'd be running low on energy right now. But I refuse to drink caffeine past like 12 p.m. Even then, try to do it, cut it off by like 11. I am so picky with my makeup because I feel like once you find something that works, like that's all you want to use. So I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I think it's like a good dupe for the Urban Decay one. Or no, the Anastasia one that everyone uses. So I like this one a lot. Okay, kind of went a little too heavy on the right brow in the front, but... I'm gonna brush it out more so it's a little more natural looking. Okay, guys, I am tired, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm gonna get a second wind in a minute. <laughs> um, I really don't feel like doing my makeup. Okay, I think I might just do this really fast because my energy and mood is like not here today. So I'm like doing this in silence when I'm supposed to be talking to you guys. Alright, we up in this bitch. So this is the final make- I actually don't think I've ever done my makeup this fast in my life to do like a full face. It's like a half- it's like a half face. Alright, so let's go get my tattoo. Hopefully they take a walk in right now. Apologize for having a little bit more lower energy, but I do feel better now that I did my makeup. Um. I'm trying to hold myself to a higher standard lately, like, I'm trying to constantly make myself feel good so I hold myself higher. And not in the sense it's like, you need makeup to feel pretty about yourself or you need to be put together to feel good about yourself, but it's like, when I do do those things, I feel like I hold myself at a higher vibration and a higher energy. I feel like it's just a noticeable difference in how you carry yourself and it's attractive and that's just what I'm trying to do because I feel like... I'm starting to come back to myself more and I kind of want to set the standard higher and I want to really just feel good about who I am and the kind of person that I give off or I guess the kind of energy I give off and the kind of person um, that I am because I think for so long growing up I struggled a lot with always hating how clothes fit me, always hating like my outfits, how I looked. Um, and just like always struggling so much with my insecurities. So I'm kind of starting to just figure out what to do with my makeup, with my hair, with my clothes that make me feel the most me and make me feel truly beautiful. So I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. If you're constantly feeling like you're just rolling out of bed, you don't really like how you look and you're constantly feeling insecure about it as a result, do something about it to hold yourself at a higher frequency and respect yourself more. Respect yourself enough to want to feel good for yourself. I would have slicked back my hair with like a wax stick, but it's pure grease. Um, <laughs> but since I'm getting my hair done, I don't want to have any product in it later because I think the dye is probably not going to uptake as well. Um, so we're rocking with this. This is the official fit that we're doing, just low key. I have my little baggy purse and yeah, let's see what I can go get yatted. Okay, so literally leave it to me to forget my camera when I went to the tattoo parlor so I couldn't vlog that, but I did get a tattoo. Um, so I got three, three, three. It's an angel number. Um, and it holds a lot of significance to me because honestly, post breakup, I started to see angel numbers everywhere. Um, and then this specific number 
it is still pretty emotional. I don't know if I want to speak on it just yet, the details of it, but pretty much support and it's just this past week in particular, like these past couple of days, I have genuinely like felt like myself again. And I kept saying I feel like myself again and then I would crash and I would be like I feel like myself and then like I wouldn't. And I think I was trying to rush the process, the healing process a lot. I think that I was really trying so hard to get back to myself but it felt like every day was a constant battle and struggle of trying to feel good. Like f forcing myself to feel good almost. Like oh I think I feel happy today. Like yes I'm, oh, I feel happy. I feel happy. Like literally just like trying so hard and like struggling to try to feel joy and happiness like truly because I just for so long not just since the breakup but during the relationship of losing myself I just haven't felt like myself for so long that I really didn't know who I was anymore and I forgot all of the things that make me shine and so much of what I loved about myself I didn't anymore and I lost so much love for myself. So I kind of felt the past couple of days like a release of his energy. Like I genuinely felt like I was free and I felt like I could be me without guilt, without shame, without judgment and hate. And that is literally the most freeing feeling ever to come back to yourself after losing yourself and feeling so lost for so long um so that's why I got this tattoo and I'm super excited and to be vlogging and to be happy to be in front of a camera is huge because content has been a struggle for me for quite some time now and I found something to give me some purpose and happiness and excitement again and yeah so I feel so so happy to be here and to be alive honestly for the first time in a long time oh, perks of your mom being a hairdresser <laughs> Nice layers, right? Yeah. Give like it a little extra. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. It looks pretty right there. Yeah, I like it. Uh -huh. A little chunky, or nice little blended. Yeah. Good stuff. I like how boring. I like when I get dark now. It's just like I can't avoid it. I know. It's That's like, why I did. A, I weaved it. I didn't just. Uh, Insert transition because I forgot to vlog. Vlogging my first ever solo beach trip. So. I Good vibes. Okay, I have always wanted to do like solo dates for myself since the breakup and things like that and spend more time with myself and it's so out of my comfort zone and I'm so excited to do it and bring you guys along. So just girl in her Kia and we're gonna go to the beach and spend the day I really wanted to vlog this I debated bringing my vlog camera because I was like I don't know because I didn't want it to get stolen or anything but and I'm like I'm not gonna be like doing much on the beach but I think it'll I think it'll be good so I'm super excited okay we made it to the beach $40 later for this fucking parking all day and I think I regret it because I feel like if I were to park for an hour at the other place it was like three dollars an hour and I only wanted to stay till like three but whatever lesson is learned so now you know um, but anyway now I can drink my coffee I've been having to pee for the past hour and we're finally fucking here so let's uh time to enjoy my beach day Okay, not gonna lie, I got really nervous because this was my first time vlogging in public, like outside of like a gym and stuff. 
But I did enjoy myself. I did have some anxiety. I wish I could have walked around a little bit more. So now I know it was my first ever solo trip vlog sort of thing. So moving forward, I'm excited to do this a little bit more and provide a little bit more experience for you guys.